Welcome back to MMA Odds Breaker, ladies and gentlemen. Today we get the pleasure of talking to Diego Fajeda. If you look for him on SureDog, though, it's Carlos Diego Fajeda. Yeah. It took me a little while to, to find you, find your record and stuff, because I wasn't sure if I had the right guy or not. Uh, you prefer to go by Diego, so that's what we call you for this. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing very good right now. I've been, like, uh, I get back from... <laughs> you you so what's uh what's your weight like right now right right now i'm still 165 okay uh, i'm trying to cut the last weights it's for the last week and i already I, i'm i'm ready you know for this fight coming up my weight's been great I lose the weight and my camp has been help me and everything i've been Really good. Who who are you training with for this fight? For this fight, I have like a two special uh, coaches, like a Tony from the Silverback and uh, Cooper, and uh, uh, both like a really great coach and uh, on Houston, and we make a camp at the Silverback. Oh. Uh, and yeah, Silverback gym in Houston, and I, I do everything, all my train over there. How is uh, how has it been getting ready? You're getting ready to fight Carla Prater in uh, in uh, um, Legacy coming up. How's it been getting ready to fight someone like like Carla? It's it's for me. It's kind of really hard, you know, because you have to be ready for everything, you know. And he's a black belt, and he's a we. I have a really more experience over me on a MMA. And I, I have to be ready for everything, not just to stand up or, or Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu or take downs, defend. No, I, I think I have to be ready for everything. You know, it's kind of hard, but I, I, I've been doing great. I have a really good camp, I have a good instructors, I have a good coach, and but I do my, my, my best. Who, uh, uh, what is, you're, you're six and one right now. You've only got one loss out, out of seven fights. But well, what, exactly. I, I don't know what I don't know where it's come from the zero one, but I have a six and no, you know, I never lost. And then all my fights. See, that's what I was told too, that you were undefeated. But then when yeah. I looked up your record, it keeps saying that you have a loss to, uh -huh. but there's no loss. Like you look at the record. Yeah. You scroll through it. There's no losses on there, but somehow they yeah, put a, they I, put I, a one. I don't know what is going on with the uh, or the website where like everybody tell me before like I have a uh, eight fights and uh, I I fix one time and after there he fixed but still like a one but I don't know why but I have a six and zero. Oh. All right, know. you've got you've got six wins. You've had six fights. You're undefeated. You've got five submissions and one decision. One decision. Now, yeah. battling against a guy with, like Prater, who's very good at submissions, your normal game isn't going to work. So how, yeah. how much of an adaptation, how many things do you have to change in your camp to get ready for Prater? My camp, uh, we, we get away from like a more the, uh, the game he's had, like a long legs, uh, long reach, because I'm a short guy. Uh, and he's kind of long, but he, he have a good wrestling, you know. He, he play a lot on on the top, and it's kind of hard to, to figure out what he going to do. But we we do everything, uh, everything we can, like uh, the, the part, the, the ground and pound, the part that the, the, um, the, 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 the big leverage takedowns. And everything, you know, yeah, that's pretty hard, you know. How, t how tough was it for you to make the adjustment to start training like that? Because it's a, it's a different way of, of training. Like, you didn't train like that before. Yeah, I never trained like that before. And uh, the, the, the partners I have, like, uh, I try match the partners, uh, the same uh, uh, height and... and and reach from the same same from the crater you know i, I kind of have like a few few guys in houston and uh kind of have a 
uh, long range, big guys, long guys. And but I, I could I'd send a little bit more because I never fought somebody like that tall, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck against Carl. We, we wish you the best, and, and uh, I'll be uh, I'll be at home watching it on TV when you guys come out. All right. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm very interested to see this fight, and, and I, I like how you fight. I like your your submission game. So I'm really interested to see how you match up.